the star the pleasure a mask we cannot see through this is me every day you see black but i feel blue and you may think that i stand tall and you may think that i've got it all but i can't seem to recall hi i'm dawn i'm a senior lecturer at the university of manchester where i do research into mental health and this is mixed lab Hi, my name is Bolatita May. I'm a musician and welcome to Mix Lab. The aim of what I want to learn is how best to communicate my research to the widest possible audience. I think I'd like to learn from the expert that's coming in basically, because I don't know much about them, to take on board what they're saying and collaborate with what I do. I'm not sure that I want to test or prove anything, but it would be great to have the experience of working with a creative. I guess that, that may be it actually, is to see whether it's possible to communicate what I do through using creative means. I think the effect um, that the experiment will have potentially on the, the researcher is, I suppose if you do a lot of things that are very academic, you might not always explore the creative side of things because it can be very logical. I guess it'd be really good for us to kind of spark off each other and there'll be definitely things that from a creative perspective that I hadn't thought about and talk about how I communicate my research. And I'm hoping whoever it is is going to be quite curious about what I do. So maybe they'll go away with some more knowledge about what I do. Um, yeah, and be even more curious and go off and want to explore it further. The equipment I'll be using is a baby Taylor guitar um, as well as my voice as well. So hopefully we can get some chords done um, figure out what sounds good and also maybe get some some lyrics wrote down, some lyrics sung and hopefully get the researcher involved with singing as well if they're up for it. Experience obviously I brought a laptop with me so if we can get online maybe we can look at some on online material. But I don't actually have pictures or gadgets or anything like that. I don't have a procedure for um, carrying this experiment out. I think I just want to meet the person and um, hopefully um, build a, a bond, learn what they do, and um, tell them a bit about what I do. Just have a chat about things so it's really nice and relaxed in the beginning and hopefully just see what we can take from that conversation and go from there really. I intend to approach this experiment like a good scientist, with an open mind, with curiosity, whatever comes out of the process. I don't envisage there'll be many problems. It's a very light guitar and we've just got pen and paper so hopefully everything will go smoothly. Yes, I'm just here to have a great time. Health problems like depression and anxiety. Hello! Hello. Hi! How lovely to meet you. You too. I'm Tito. Hi Tito. <laughs> I'm Dawn. It's good to meet you lovely too. Good to meet you. Have a seat. Where do you want me? Um, just pop yourself down here. Yeah, is that okay? Do you want a drink? Yeah, I'm good for now, thanks. Good. So oh, nice these are very swivelly chairs. <laughs> They are quite comfortable there. Good. So nice to meet you. Did you travel far? No, up the road, Manchester Uni. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So what is it that you, you do there? Tell me a bit about yourself. Oh, my goodness. So I'm an academic, so I'm a researcher, lecturer. Do my research is um, around mental health, but with a particular focus on health inequalities. Yeah. That sounds really interesting. I hope so. <laughs> well, I hope you find it interesting. I do. <laughs> Definitely. Because I know with like, black mental health, obviously being a black person myself, I know how prevalent it can be. Um, so it's interesting to meet somebody who works yeah. within it. Oh, good. I mean, the, reason, the main reason I'm here is because I want to find new ways of communicating what I do yeah. to other people. So as you said, there are, there are some real big issues around black mental health. Um, and a lot of that is about misunderstandings that people don't really understand yeah. issues. So if I can find ways of doing that and breaking down stigma and taboos yeah. would be really, really great. Yeah. So, so tell me about the creative process, because I have no idea about what I'm getting into. So um, how do we go from this conversation into an end product? Well, I would say it's just kind of about having conversations about everything. OK. Um, seeing what common things we can pull out. Um, maybe have a few like buzzwords and things or things that you, you say I definitely want that um, okay. I definitely want to speak about this um, and okay. the message of hope so we'll have that as like a theme yeah and um, and then we can put some words down so we're gonna end up with a song yeah yeah 
<laughs> Exciting as that. It should be good, hopefully. It okay, be, great. Be good. Let's get going. Let's get started. Be like a facade, a play, a mask you cannot see through. And then we were having a conversation about the second line, weren't we? So, is this. So maybe like. Life was getting me. Down. Is this That's it? That's the me version when I'm talking it. How would it sound when you sing it? I just don't want to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I found the strength to believe in me. My first step to recovery. A facade, a play, a mask you cannot see through. Is this it? Is this me? I see brown, but I feel blue. And then brown might be because you know it's about black women. Yeah, yeah, brown yeah, yeah, yeah. and blue. Yeah. Because you feel down. Sounds good. It's all right. <laughs> I think because we had so much to talk about. Yeah. I think we were kind of like a bit waylaid in talking about loads of different things, and then it was almost like what we had to do was like an afterthought. Because we were like, right, okay, and then we had so many different which was good, we had so many different mm. ideas to, to use. Um, but I'm not sure how you could kind of circumvent that because in a way we had to sh talk about all mm. of those things to decide where, yeah. what was best where to pull to out of that in order yeah. to go forward. So. Well, I, I didn't come with any expectation because I didn't know who I was going to meet. Yeah. I didn't know what the creative form was going to be. So I did come, I did say at the beginning, I came with an, with an open mind because I just wanted to know. Um, just, yeah, I was just excited by the process. But yeah, it's been a really a positive um, experience for me, engaging in the creativity, and I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know what to expect either. I knew it was a researcher come in, but... I didn't know what you researched, so in my head it, it literally could have been anything. So I'm glad that it was you that came along with things that I'm interested in. So it was like, okay, great, I don't have to try and figure out what quantum physics is or anything like that. I'm already sort of on the same level in that I understand and I'm interested in. So hopefully um, I can put more of myself into the song. So it'd be great to actually be more involved in the actual performance of it yeah um, you know, yeah definitely about kind of maybe not the singing but maybe some kind we of we definitely need to hear things. your voice yeah but we're both really excited to see the end product yeah um, but i think we've got a really good base on which to, to build don't we? So. yeah definitely i think especially some of the topics that we've touched on there's definitely been themes that i've used in my own song and um, that i've maybe only known from personal experience but i've not known a lot about from out of my own personal experience so to kind of be like hmm what should I put here and then to have you be like well I know this and then this <laughs> happened and then I knew this person great. here and then these statistics and stuff like that so it was like literally going to google but you were there <laughs> so it was it was just kind of like and then obviously you were like telling me these stories and I was like wow so I think it was um definitely from that that perspective of things it was really interesting for me to have an academic there to kind of like almost look over and oversee everything mm. and to refer back to. I guess for me one of the things that get, that's been really interesting about the process is you know you talked about the chords being kind of stripped back and in a way um, this process is about making making science, making psychology um, more accessible so in a way it's kind of stripping back so, mm. so you have the, the data but then it's turning it into something which it's stripped back to a story that people can actually understand. Yeah. Yeah, That's, yeah great. I'm Dawn. And I'm Volatito May. And, and this, this is Mix Lab. So glad I found the strength to believe in me. My first step to recovery. First step to recovery.